not relate with chickens. The difference between a vulture and an eagle is appetite. A vulture and an eagle are from the same botanical family. That is called Acripedia. That means they are like from the same local government, same family, they bear the same surname. But the difference is what they eat. A vulture will not eat any animal that is fresh. It looks for the animal that is weak, sick and ready to die. But a, an eagle will never eat any animal that is not killed. Now, guess what? When a vulture sees a prey, it will wait somewhere. And there are three types of vultures. A vulture, there is one they call the white neck vulture. The white neck vulture is a very interesting vulture. If you kill any animal, you will find out that the white neck vulture will be there. You don't need to invite the vulture, it will be there. Because the vulture can smell five kilometers away. There are people that when you kill meat in your house, they appear. You don't know how they knew about the meat. They were appear. <laughs> Greatest boom. <laughs> so those ones are white neck vultures. They are good at marketing and research. I put them in the marketing and research department. Then there are these black neck vultures. The black neck vulture cannot smell. What it does, it looks at wherever the white neck vulture goes because the white neck vulture will be circling that place. So he will go there and hang with that one. That one I say is in operations and administration department. They cannot do anything but they cannot kill the animal because their beaks are not sharp. But what about, how do they decide? They wait for the red neck vulture. I call those ones the managers. Those are the ones that decide what happens. So those ones, because their beaks are sharp and their claws are heavy, they can tear the animal and eat. So those ones are managers. So when the manager decides, approve, then the operations and the admin and the marketers can get it. Why am I saying all this? If your dependency is on somebody, that you are waiting for somebody to give you allowance, give you monthly 2,000, 10,000 naira, you are suffering from a vulture mentality. A, an eagle will kill for its own. An eagle will research for its own. An eagle will find, how do I survive? An eagle will hunt. I am tired of Aquibom youth begging for bread. I am tired of seeing Aquibom youth depending on another man for 2,000 naira. There's something wrong with that foundation. It must die. We cannot continue with that poverty, minchomic, mundane, moribund, myopic mindset. It has to end. Because if we keep doing this, we kill our children that is to come. Because if you beg now, tomorrow your children will beg. We need to stop. We need to teach our children how to take over the market. But yet, the eagle has the potential of living 70 years. 70 years. But guess what? At the age of 40, it has to take a decision. All eagles have to take that decision at 40 years. At 40 years old, what the eagle does, would I live? If it wants to live, it has to live 30 more years. But there's a ritual. If it doesn't want to live, it will come out under the cold and then allow the winter cold to enter its blood and freeze it and it dies. But if it wants to live that extra 30 years, it must carry out the ritual for 150 days five months what will it do it will fly to the highest rock and go and hide inside there hide inside there when it gets there it will break his beak an eagle survives on flesh and blood but yet this time it cannot eat it will stay in that hole and wait there and watch other people pass watch other eagle pass it will be building his character as the beak is coming out it will be building his potential understanding how to defeat the next one when that beak comes out it will use his own beak and remove all its talents everything that he uses to claw because these ones are weak it will wait to get new one it will watch all other people mess around waste time it will not go to attack it will be surviving on only water and honey when all the talons come out it will use its own beak and pluck out its feathers every single feather water and blood will come out it will wait for five months god help that rat that comes out five months after everything is there his eyes will be red and he, whenever he sees that animal it goes stop living on somebody's pocket Pain is the down payment for gain. 
If you are going to eat gain tomorrow, get ready to tolerate pain. There is no free lunch. It costs somebody something. And let me tell you, hunger is the gift of God to man. What hunger does, it causes you to look out, to drive. But God help you if you choose the wrong thing to eat. Because if what you eat is good for your body, your body will grow well. But if you eat what is bad for your body, you will become sick and you die. Now, if you eat wrong positive values, you become productive in life. But if you eat negative values, you become a thief in life. Everything about life is about values. What are your values? If you are an ego, stop talking to chicken. If you are 20 years old and you are still in your father's house, it's a shame. I came to stare that nest. 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 Enough of enough.